Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on parts of a circle. At primary level, there's only three parts of the circle you need to know. Firstly, there's the radius. The radius is the line that joins the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. There's the diameter. That's the line across the circle that goes through the center. And finally, there's the circumference. And the circumference is just a fancy name for around the outside of the circle. Okay, let's have a look at three questions now. Okay, the first one. A coin has a radius of 17 millimeters. What is the diameter of the coin? Well, the radius is halfway across the circle and the diameter is the whole way across the circle. So if we know what the radius is, if we want to find what the diameter is, we just need to double it, okay? We just need to add on another 17. So we can just do 17 doubled. Well, 17 doubled is 34, or we could just do 17 times two or 17 plus 17. Any of those will tell us what the diameter of the coin is. So seven plus seven is 14. Uh, one plus one plus one is three. So obviously it's 34 millimeters. So if we know the radius to find the diameter, we just double it. So 17 doubled is 34 millimeters. Okay, our next question. Our next question says the diameter of a pizza is 12 inches. So across the whole pizza, okay, through the center is 12 inches. What is the radius of the pizza? So if we know what the diameter is to find the radius, we just need to divide by two because obviously we want to find halfway across the circle. So 12 divided by two, 12 divided by two is six. So the answer would be six inches. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna have a go at a reasoning question now. So here we've got a 2p coin, and it says the radius of a 2p coin is 1.3 centimeters. And the question says a straight line is made up of one pound of 2p coins. How long is the line? So first of all, if I was doing this question, I would wanna know how many coins that would be in total. So one pound is 100 pence, and we just divide that by two, because obviously two pence is how many coins there are. 100 divided by two is 50. So there's 50 coins in the line. So altogether there's 50 coins. And the question says, how long is the line? So if we can work out the, the you know, how wide one of the coins is, if we times that by 50, we'll find the length of the whole line. Now, how wide a coin is, is the number name for the diameter of it, okay? The distance across it. Now we know the radius is 1.3, so we know halfway across is 1.3 centimeters. So if we do 1.3 plus 1.3, we'll find the distance across or the diameter of one of the 2p coins. So 1.3 plus 1.3 would be 2.6 centimeters. So if we want to find how long the line is, we need to do 2.6 centimeters times by 50. So 2.6, multiplied by 50. And to do that, we're just gonna multiply here. So uh, we're gonna multiply by 50. So let's put the zero down. Five times six is 30. Put the zero down, carry the three. Five times two is 10, plus three is 13. So it's 130.0 centimeters, or just 130 centimeters, and that's it. So in terms of the parts of the circle, the parts of the circle you need to know are the radius, that's from the center to the edge of the circle. The diameter, the whole way across the circle, through the center. And the circumference, the whole way around the outside of the circle. And just remember, if you know what the radius is and you wanna find the diameter, just double it or you know add it to itself. And if you know what the diameter is and you wanna find what the radius is, just divide it by two. And that's it.